Come on, you're my car Gun, bottle it up like elastic can That tool in my hand is a ticking sound Don't fight like a man that big man ball Then I ain't my car Alright guys, I'm Adriana Maya and I'm back with another episode of Spliffs and Giggles brought to you by the Red Eye District. I have Callie Rose joining me today. Hi. She's been in the industry for over nine years. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. I think you are one of the official girls that we can have on the show that I can say you're like a real porn star. Oh, thank you. How cool does it feel to know that you like truly hold that title in this industry? I think it's pretty cool. I mean, definitely done some time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, <laughs> put in the work you definitely have yeah. <laughs> out of nine years and mm -hmm. you didn't always do porn. You kind of built your way up. What yeah. would you say has been your favorite scene that you've gotten to do? Oh, that's so hard. Right? I know it is. <laughs> Probably my gangbang I did for black. Mm. That was a good one. But I also did a 15 guy blow bang. And that was fun. Hold, <laughs> on. Hold the hell on. B black first. We're cutting this in half for the black one, for the gangbang. Yeah. How many guys was it? I think it was only five. That's good. Though. Yeah, that's it was for good. your start, it was right? Great. It was your first yeah, one. Yeah, it was a great See, number. That's, that's very good for a first one. Because yeah. I've seen some girls do three, and I'm like, is that a gangbang technically? It's not enough. Yeah. Right? Like, that's just like a little. It's not really the gang. Uh, right? <laughs> a friend or two. Yeah. <laughs> but five guys, I love that. And was yes. it just vaginal, anal? Just vaginal. Ooh. I've never done DP or anything. Really? I've done anal, but I've never done DP. Got you, I got yeah, you. So. See, and that's something I also want to yeah. ask you about. A lot of girls... There's this internal debate in porn stars really about mm. do you jump in to doing everything at once because it'll get you more work or do you wait and let it build up because it'll again get you more work? It's so hard because, okay, so I'm going to go back. I was dating somebody before I was in the industry, like fully. I just did gotcha. a solo and I gave my first anal out for free. <gasps> Oh, isn't that the one? Uh, what's crazy? A lot of girls have stories like this. So we do because you don't yeah. realize the power it holds. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of us really see the longevity, especially exactly. when you get in young. Yeah, for um, sure. You said you started in sex work at 18, right? Yeah. See, and I did as well. And I think that we get so jaded, we kind of miss like a, some of these hurdles that a lot of the other girls, when they're older, they've had some time to think about, to dwell on. Totally. So you gave your first annual away. <laughs> yeah. uh, have you ever thought about trying to do the resell thing? You know, because technically it's an old scene. Yeah. You know, it's been a while in like yeah. all the work that you've done. Would you ever consider redropping your first annual? Yeah. See, <laughs> I think guys? I should. For right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They would honestly. love that. Yeah. See? It was a good one. You can find it, guys. We're going to get some answers for her. Yes. Um, out of all the people you've been able to work with, and you do travel pretty much to all the hotspot shooting locations exactly. in the industry, yeah. where do you prefer to be? Probably, I personally love Florida, but I probably get the most work in LA. Yeah. Which I feel like is pretty typical, like most people get. Is that because of the quality of people or is it just the amount of people I that's over know. there? Yeah, I yep. think it's just the amount yes. of like directors mm -hmm. and companies that are out there Absolutely. that are established. You know, they're always shooting something. See, and LA is really. a good place too because cancellations, yes. you can always get someone. Your day's not necessarily lost over yeah. that. And there's so much talent out there. Like you yes. will you'll be productive always if you're in LA. Go to LA if you yeah. need <laughs> Um, when you go to LA, is there a certain production company, a certain talent that you just like to work with? Huh. I mean, there's always, I love shooting with browsers, yes. of course. Yep. Blacked, their whole group mm -hmm. is always great. So professional. Yeah. Love I love that. companies like yeah. that. I feel like a lot of them have kind of taken steps up in the recent years, especially with bigger names branching into content creation. They realize that they kind of had to take it next level to take care of the big name girl. So I yeah. really do like that and we appreciate it guys. Yes. <laughs> um, Brazzers, I'm assuming they've had you do some wild scenes. You know, they like to get their clickbait and stuff. Yes. Have you done any of the food things that they like to do or any of the public things? We know that's yes. hot right now. Yes, so I've done um, like food things, got fucked a little bit with the cucumber. <laughs> really? Yeah. I love it. Um, love it. <laughs> but one of my, one of my, like, I think it was like my first scene for browsers, and I had to ride a bike, like an actual bike, with a dildo on it. 
Like a bicycle. And fuck the bi- or fuck a bicycle with the dildo on it. Yeah. You know what? They. I don't know. <laughs> and I remember I was like, what I don't. I didn't is. remember how to ride a bike. Like, <laughs> really? you're like, you're like the thing is, I was like it's crying in the happening. bathroom. I'm like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I love that so much. I'm like, I don't know how to ride a bike. I don't remember how to ride a bike. I don't think they realize that's a lot. Like, that's like a full-on workout. Literally. That is so true. They do like the bike thing. And I was outside in public. Well, not in public. It was like a private. Yeah, but still, it's the insinuated that you're in public. They love that. They love that. Do you (laughs) actually get off to the public thing? I know that's huge right now. I do live a little naughty public. Mm -hmm. Like little sneaky, sneaky, right? <laughs> yeah. I think it's fun. Like, you might get caught. Yes, because like, mm. it's such big stakes. I think know? part of that, <laughs> and why we're a little messed up, is because in porn, you can do stuff like that, you know, but it's controlled. Yeah. But we bring that into everyday life, and we're like, it's fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Forgetting that the company said this. <laughs> um, do you have any goals? You've worked for so many huge companies. You've gotten yeah. covers, box covers, magazines covers in the industry yeah is there a goal that you have yet to hit that's still yes on the list? i still want to shoot for playboy i've never mm-hmm. shot for playboy or hustler either i you know hustler i heard a lot of people shooting for them like when i yeah. first started yeah and now it's a little died down that yeah. is a good one though yeah. i'm like oh yeah you would do it they love the can we have you stand up for a second? I'm like, you're literally like perfect for both of those companies. Um, as you see, they love the curves at Hustler and Playboy, guys. So call her. She's available. And your work, work ethic is amazing. Thank you. I've heard great things from about you um, from you. other talents and stuff. Is there a sort of like a checklist you go through when deciding what talents you actually want to work with on content? Yeah, I mean, over the years, I've gotten more picky. Got you. And especially because so many people do content now. Yes. Like, definitely, yes. you know, have a... Are they... I always check, too, like, who's, shoot, who's shot with them before. Yes. It's always so yeah. important. I like, think that's something that's yeah. lost in a lot of new talents. They don't yeah. do that anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I get it, too, because you want to get out there in the right. beginning. And, I get, like, you're kind of more risky because you're kind of worth right. the, like, exactly. reward might Well, be. And you want to just work with as many people as exactly. you can. Because they're not really getting that steady income, you know, yeah. when you're more t- So I get that. Yeah. But, so we're a little choosy with that. Yeah. I think that makes the content that much better though because not that people who are constantly working put out bad content but I have noticed that the girls and guys even who are a little pickier with who they work with they give a little extra time on the quality for their content and I think it's definitely worth that for the fans you do have um, fan sites speaking of fans you do have fan (laughs) sites Um, you're in the only fans wave of course but are there any other sites that you use that we could get content from you on yes you can get content also on my main website and that is uh, official CallieRoses.com uh, I have a scene that drops once a week on there and um, then I also have um, many vids of course you could go to Callie'sClips.com <laughs> just go to CallieSlinks.com right. and you'll find them all guys yeah find it all there <laughs> um, when you first got into the industry and you kind of were making that decision to make this leap into mainstream what were some of the reasons you decided that it was a yes for you um honestly I just had a lot of fun with it like Mm -hmm. then I I loved traveling Mm -hmm. and like meeting new people loved that um yeah so I think that definitely like sold me you know I mean, like you gotta it's a little it's a wild like hippie lifestyle kind yeah. of you're just bouncing around yeah. meeting people it's where do so I want to go next month? right and I'll yeah. shoot some porn exactly. there exactly <laughs> who will we fuck right <laughs> And at 18, I think that's super exciting so for exciting. me. I thought it was just like the coolest thing ever. For sure. Um, did you get a lot of kickback from your friends and stuff, like your normal friends, when they found out that you were going headfirst in it? I mean, I don't think that any of my friends were surprised at all. Um, yeah. It, it was just <laughs> I meant was to pretty, happen. Oh, yeah. I was pretty slutty in high Love school. It. Very, Love it. Yeah. Love it. Just doing it, you know, for free. Right. <laughs> I'm getting paid 
now. You guys should be happy yeah. for me. <laughs> I am no longer fucking that dude in his car. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, that's a lie. We're still fucking dudes in yeah, cars, yeah, yeah. but that's we're getting so paid true. way more for yeah. it. <laughs> that is fucking that. true. Yeah. Um, you did say you didn't do DP or anal, or excuse me, DP double vag. Yeah, um, I've never done that. No. So is that something that's a no on your list, like a hard no, or is it it's something we could possibly see in the future? Possibly see in the future. We're keeping our I eyes mean, open. I definitely, when I watch porn, I like like to watch like <laughs> anal really? and DP, but I'm like, yes. Yes. it's all. <laughs> Proud of yes, it makes me feel even naughtier. <laughs> That's the issue. I feel like a lot of girls, their butts, they like get used to it, but it's yeah. just because they're doing it so often. So I'm often, like, yeah. I just can't do anal every day, guys. I got, I like crab legs and shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel um, that. <laughs> in prepping for anal scenes, mm-hmm. do you actually choose what male talents you would like to work with? Or is it you kind of just go in how a lot of girls, yeah. unfortunately, just go yeah. in like yeah. blind and you're like, We'll see if it fits. <laughs> oh, my God, no. No, um, I think the last anal I did, I picked my male talent. Awesome. Yeah. Love that. And yeah. the guys want to know, this is a fan question. Yeah. Length or girth? Oh, that's hard. Yeah. I like a little good mix of both. <laughs> Just a little dabble in heat, a little swirl. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I, I think yeah. I prefer girth. But I make but if there's like no length, what is it doing? It's yeah. doing nothing, you yeah. know. So you do need a good mix of both. Yeah, a little mix of both is perfect. It's healthy. Yeah. It's, oh, <laughs> this is also a fan question. A lot of girls um, in the industry specifically yeah. have this whole stick up their ass about people doing cosmetic surgeries and things like that. The fans yeah. love it though. Yeah. What is your stance on people who want to do it? I think you should do what makes you happy. Have fun. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, you're the one living in your body at the end of the day. Thank you. I'm like, I gotta look at myself. Like, if yeah. I wanna, like, get my nose done or, like, want a fat <laughs> removal, I'm doing it, bitch. Like, that's <laughs> literally... Like, you're not paying my bills. And also, the people who pay my bills, they love that shit. Yeah. So, oh, fuck it. Exactly. I agree. I love that. Yeah. Callie, do you have any content specifically that you've shot on your own sites that you're super proud of? I did see you just celebrated a birthday. I did. So happy belated. Thank you. And the <laughs> shoot from that was just amazing. Oh, oh I had my so god. so much fun with that one. Yeah. Um, didn't do anything like explicit. Just fun for Instagram. It was, it was like boudoir. It was, it was so yes. cute. I loved yeah. it. It was cool. I actually did like some with uh, little sparklers too. Stop. And I was I like trying it. to go everywhere for sparklers. Yeah. I couldn't find any, but I oh, finally god, found like out of season. Yeah, but then I finally found some that said like 27 on it. It was cute. I'm like this is but, perfect. Yeah, I, I like, love yeah. that. You guys check that out on her Instagram. You are um, a model who keeps up with her Instagram very heavily. Would you say that attributes to some of your success and like keeping um, recent active in the industry? Totally. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I've gotten my Instagram deleted like most of us a bajillion times. Um, I think I'm on like my ninth Instagram. That's rough. Yeah. They hate us. I don't know why yeah. they hate us. So we're fucking cute. <laughs> I know. And we're bringing them business. So I'm like, what? A, like, it makes no sense to keep yeah. deleting us. Yeah, literally. We and the things like I was getting reported for is like stuff that's on everyone's accounts. Yes. And it's just because we're sex workers, honestly. Right. I feel uh, like because there's so many people that are verified. Yes. That's crazy. Uh, I've seen full cr- nipples. Full tits. Full, full, nipple. full bush. And I'm like, so I showed my butt in booty shorts. Yeah, and I was twerking, and they were like, "You're no. out of here." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, the Instagram. Word. Please don't delete us, but fuck you. Yeah, who's this? Zuckerberg. Shot. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, we really appreciate you for not yes. taking our accounts away yeah. right now. <laughs> we're in good stance. I promise. We'll be so. And yeah. I've got no warnings. Please yeah. be calm. <laughs> Gonna for wake real. up tomorrow, and the shit's gone. <laughs> like, I know. He's like, oh you God. thought, bitch. My, actually, that shoot, the birthday shoot, one of them got Stop. reported and taken down. And I was all like, but I appealed it. It's a hater. It's a hater. I appealed it and they brought it back, obviously. But I was like. That is crazy. One, those are just, it's gorgeous. The mashup you did, gorgeous. Like, so whatever fucking hater reported it, we're going to find you bitches and we're getting your ass. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, Out of all the male talents. Yeah. And we'll do Miami first. On the the Florida side. Who is the best male talent in Florida? (laughs) (laughs) T-Mac. 
another one for J-Mac. It's always J-Mac. <laughs> He's the best. If we had a tally, it'd literally be J-Mac. <laughs> I believe it. Um, what about LA though? And uh, I know that's a little that harder because yeah. there's a, we could do like top three in LA. Okay. Right? It's <laughs> <laughs> hard as fuck. Oh, oh my gosh. So uh, I don't know. Does Damon Dice? Does he, he count? Still counts. He still counts. Okay, yeah. Okay. Because okay. so I was like, he's in me. Yeah. Like, that, like that. Good enough. <laughs> he is great. Um, yeah. So Damon dies. Mm-hmm. Jesse Jones. And I would say. Great. Um. So hard. Damon Dice is a big. Oh, Jesse has a big dick too. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse has a big dick. Big. Uh. <laughs> like they're both. Love that. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't Cheers know, it's third. Really? I need a third. It's so hard. Oh, you could do a top female talent in okay. LA that you okay, like or cool. Vegas area. Oh my gosh. Um so hard. I know, dude. That is hard. I literally I feel like people, you don't see them. So like you yeah. don't think about I know, them. I'm like, if I could see people. Right, then I'm yeah, like, oh, okay, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> you know who yeah. I actually, oh, okay. This is good. Cause I was gonna say a newer male talent yeah. um, that I like, but how do you feel about this wave of male talents? Because the new ones are like, yeah everywhere now That's like it's so actually true. so hard to find like one of the ogs with like a day off because the new guys are like in there yeah it's so true there is so many new guys I think that's awesome though, because it's hard to get in especially as a guy hell yeah yeah I do think that with social media especially for them that's like what's helping them like if they're for active sure. on social media and yeah. the fans respond that is like something that plays into it how do you feel about them pairing you with the fresh 18 guys though <laughs> i don't know I think it's funny. I actually am like loving the like milfy role. Yeah. Oh my god. It's yes. Fun. Yeah. Instead of being perved on, being the perv. Yes. I love that. Get, and it's after a while when you're being perved on for so yeah. long, it is like great to fill the other role. You're like, let me yes. be the creep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's fun. Right. The, I like right. that. Okay. I'm See, here for it. she likes being a perv. Yeah. Guys, keep an eye out for it. She's a peeping tom, I'm sure, in many I occasions. <laughs> Do they have you do any of the, I know people getting stuck is like a huge thing right now. Getting stuck under the table, in the oven, in the dryer. Oh. I've seen some weird, and I'm like, <laughs> is she stuck? Yeah. <laughs> people like, and I work with oh you guys. Oh my gosh. Like, so I had to do a scene for Blocked, and it was like, I was supposed to be connected with, by these handcuffs, like onto this thing, but it was broken. So I'm all like, already, they're like, okay, make it look real. And I'm like, <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> the thing is, if I Try move really hard, yeah, it's gonna the pop. Acting, <laughs> the acting on point. That's yeah. how you know the things, the situations we get into. Yeah, the fans would not believe. For do you real. have a time on set? <laughs> that the day was just crazy, but you get a lot of compliments on that scene. And you're like, how, like how, like either the outfit, the makeup, yes. location. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I've had to fuck on like a little trash can. And it was one where we're like, I don't know, it was like pain. And it was like, I don't know, it was like a wooden fence. It was for RK in Florida. Oh, oh yeah. 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 So I'm Go outside. To, yeah, of course. And they're like, yeah, just fuck they're on like, it's hot. trash can. <laughs> like a literal, you know, like an Oscar Grouse, yeah. like <laughs> trash can. Like that. They're like, yeah. and they're like, here you go. And Did I they was, throw like, a blanket on it? it? No. no. And I was laying on it, like all mm-hmm. sorts of shit. And mm-hmm. everyone's like, that seems so hot. And I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> you're like, really? Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> RK, they get you outside. They love an outside shoot. They love it. We get it, guys. <clears throat> it looks good. Yes, yeah, the public thing. It's huge. Yeah. However, in Florida, in summer, <laughs> on a trash can, that sounds like hell. That's it was like hell. Hell. And bruises <laughs> all Literally. over me. And then like... you shoot for them like the next day and they're like, what happened? What happened? You're like, yeah. you happened. Yeah. Judas, this was your it's fucking your fault. fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, that is, yeah. That's something we go through. The amount of Arnica and Epsom salt 
we've bought in, in our careers, you guys would be impressed. Yes. What is one surprise about the industry mainstream that you just didn't realize until you like really had your career like take off? Um, like when, like, I don't know, I guess how long the days are. That is dedication. All fucking day. Yeah. All, and sometimes they want you to be there really early. Like, cause either you're, it's, so if you're in LA, for example, sometimes you could be in the valley and they could be in the city or they're yeah. in the valley. You're in the they're city. Like in the heart of LA right. and you're in the hills. So like, you're like two and a half yeah. hours away. So you get up at like 4 a.m. And you get there. Just to be there for a 7 a.m. call time. And then you're there <laughs> until like 9 p.m. sometimes. Yeah. And then you go home for that two and a half <laughs> hour car ride. And you're like, I'm going to be up at 4 tomorrow yeah. <laughs> to take a DP. That's yeah. good. Don't do DP. Yeah. Not if you do. Fuck that shit, dude. I did DP when I was an hour away from set. I was like, this is good. This is a yeah, good Yeah, that's good. Not, right? not too solid. bad. You're like, like, that's my limit. Right? <laughs> Any longer? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I can't. Yeah. What, I'm going to have a plug in my ass that long? That I can't. Things could get dicey. They yeah. could get dicey in that Uber. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, you do smoke weed. You're a big smoker. Yeah. And I do know on most sets, they are strictly no being high. Yeah. How do you feel about <laughs> smoking before you shoot a scene? I always smoke before. Yeah. I have to. Because honestly, like, I have anxiety and I've been mm -hmm. on medication and I'd rather not be on medication and just smoke weed. Yes, I feel that. You know? For sure. Because weed, it's not going to take me too much out of character. I'll be good. Yes. Yeah, I'll be, I'll, yeah. If anything, I'll be funnier. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we're going to be chill. We're, we're not going to be like, up here. We're going to be having a good time. Here. Yeah. We're going to be down here and vibing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and, hold on. I asked you about setting up. Oh, the new liaisons that they're bringing on sets where they have, um, I believe for the models, they have it as like a courtesy thing to make sure nothing happens. You know, we always have someone like, so there's no like sexual assault allegations on yeah. set and stuff. How do you feel about um, companies bringing these people on and stuff? I think that's good. Mm -hmm. I think it's really good, honestly. I think, you know, I. I, uh, the industry, I feel like for a while was kind of like a free for all. Yes, absolutely. So I feel like it's kind of nice to see like we have to take it more seriously like yes. a business and not like a free for all. Yes. <laughs> I think you people know. got a little carried away in how content got so regular. I think that yeah. in inviting and not that it's gatekeeping, but I do think that there should be like a little bit more rules, like requirements to like just jump in the industry yeah. from doing content because I have noticed this wave, especially things that are happening now um, with an STD wave that happened yeah. over like Christmas time yeah um that was solely caused by mixing in between like porn stars and yeah. content creators and that was just found out so Definitely. is that something that makes you wary in working with content creators in content and not like other porn stars to do content yes and also too like it sucks because there's no playbook and I've literally just had this conversation with somebody the other day they're like do I need to get retested yeah. if we, and I'm like, absolutely. Oh yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I don't know who you're fucking. Mm -hmm. I don't know who they're fucking. I don't care who they're fucking. Literally. Don't I give don't. a fuck. Yes. <laughs> because this is not my side job. And Thank this is also my me. life. Well, and <laughs> when you're working so heavily, yeah. you can't really afford to take time off. It can ruin relationships. It can make totally. companies wary of booking you. Yeah. So you really don't want to mess that up. That's something that's really so good to true. consider. What yeah. is a piece of advice you would give to someone who wants to do mainstream solely? Um, I don't know. I would say mostly make that a priority always. Yeah. If that's what you're going to focus on solely, like probably don't chew content. Like make that mm -hmm. always a priority, yeah. you know? That way you don't risk nothing yes. at all. Yeah. Honestly, the thing is with um, shooting mainstream, there's just so many things you kind of have to be wary of and be on top of that when you shoot content, you could, if you catch anything, if you mess up your nails, if you yes, fall and bruise yourself or, yeah. you know, anything that could 
get all your shoots canceled. So yeah. you definitely don't want to be doing that. So that is really smart. If you want to do mainstream, yeah. focus on it and go yeah. for that shit. Like for sure. Definitely. You did say you had some projects that you had that were coming out and you drop once a week on your site, which I think yes. is fucking awesome that you're yeah. so consistent. Yeah. Um, do you want to give a shout out to any of those projects and let us know like when around they'll be coming um. out? I don't know. I don't know when they'll be coming out yet. Gotcha. Um, I do have some stuff with the Jules Blue that I have yes. everybody's on like really wanting to see. <coughs> so that'll be fun. And we're going to drop that this month. We have like three scenes. But we're going to start dropping that. I have yes. so much stuff banked up. It's like crazy. You're working a lot, girl. Yeah. Literally, I see you <laughs> everywhere. Literally, one day you'll yeah. be posting on your IG. The next day you're like, collab with this person. Yeah. Now I'm traveling. I'm like, damn, bitch, do you stop ever? Yeah. <laughs> but do yeah, you I ever? Do you go. ever take a little break for you? Um, I do. I do. Yeah. I have like... Um, the beginning of the last year, it took like three months off. Mm, mm-hmm. Same thing with the year before that and the year before that. So I have, but good. Yeah. Do you think this that that is something it. that's like <laughs> crucial to not getting the burnout when you are doing so many different things? Um, yeah, I think it's just balance. And I think like right now in my life, I'm doing so much of a little bit everything that it kind of like balances mm-hmm. everything out. Mm-hmm. So I'm not super worn out, but right. I do try to like cram everything right. when I can like <laughs> as much as I can when I can oh yeah because then you don't want to feel like you're wasting yes, time yes never and never all wasting your peers, time. they're busy as fuck <laughs> exactly so it's like you gotta get it while you can you gotta be ready exactly see that's why be ready guys be have ready. your test ready yes if someone one of your peers was looking to work with you mm-hmm. what is your testing standard right now definitely two weeks period boom Absolutely no argument. See, guys? No so argument. I just um, spoke to a girl and she said she's literally making people do 24 hours. So I was like, crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah. if you're committed to that, then shit. So yeah. two weeks, hit her up, guys. Yes. But also, be chill. Don't be weird. No yeah. girls like to be hounded. No. Um, <laughs> we do have some weed. This is. Um, Galaxy yeah. 42 presented by LA Traffic. Thanks, guys. And they hooked us up with Cherry Blossom. Um, these are a bunch of different strains that they have, but right now we're smoking on their Cherry Blossom. It's delicious. Um, I'm fucking high. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty high. Too. Yay. Thank I love you. That. Yeah. <laughs> I love these uh, hoodies. Oh my gosh, right? These are yeah. actually so dope. Yeah, they gave us a few. So if one fits you, we'll definitely send you home with one. They're so fun. And I was like, I love all the packaging. Fun. That's what I said. I was like, these are actually fun. All the weed I usually see, it's on like the basic packages, you know. But these are actually done by an artist. I love that. I'm like, right? Mm -mm, Contributing to success. Yes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's so fun. For your social medias, how can we find you? You can find me on Twitter. twitter Twitter.com slash Callie Roses. You can find me on Instagram.com slash the real Cali Roses. Yes. <laughs> and we'll also have her tagged on all of our pages. And you did say you have a link site as well. Yes. So if you can't find something, guys, I'm sure that's in her bio. So you can Callie's just find links. everything. Boom. There you go. <laughs> We're going to answer some fan questions you guys sent in. So let's get into it. Callie, who has better sex now? Civilians or porn stars? Porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> we like to be nice, I feel, but yeah. the truth is we're the professionals. Yes. Like, is there a porn star that is the best overall? Like one, that like it could be guy or girl, but is there one? No, that's a hard one. <laughs> that's a big compliment like a to get someone, one. Right? I don't that's know. Like just Joe fire Angel. every time. She's yeah. amazing. She's a beast. I love yeah. working with her. She, she is a woman. A That's a good one. Amazing. See? Bet you didn't expect yeah. that, guys. You thought it was going to be a penis. Um, how has um, jumping in this TikTok wave affected your career? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you really have been affected in it. Really? You, no. don't, you don't get deleted on there? You don't have to worry about no, anything? No, so I do not know how to work TikTok for the life of me. I just post shit. And Love like, it. Love it. <laughs> never gotten deleted. But they thought I was underage for the longest time, but all of a sudden now I was able to change it. You're, they thought, they thought oh, I was They like tried to lock 18. you. Oh my Literally. god, no. You're like, <laughs> yeah, I could 
see my friends stuff and stuff like they would Stop tag me and shit and I'd be like dude I can't they think I'm like well, I'm like, I don't know oh my god so someone's like we gotta help her <laughs> like, you're like I'm an adult like, I was like I don't remember ever putting a birthday ever that's actually so funny yeah. I've then, never and that. then recently they're like okay what's your birthday and I was like fire I'm gonna change it right now right. <laughs> thank you thank you TikTok for not yeah. deleting Kelly because we love your for real on there <laughs> it's like that's probably why I was growing like you thought I, I was, did <laughs> hear that you were into gaming a little bit I am. and how did this all start was this something yes. you picked up because you thought it would be lucrative or has it been like a long time hobby so um as a kid I always played like Nintendo products love it. loved you love know it. Game Boy GameCube mm-hmm. all the shit growing up um and then and then the pandemic hit, but uh-huh. I was already into like the Nintendo Switch. Gotcha. But then gotcha. the pandemic hit, and then Animal Crossing came out, which was like flashback mm-hmm. from the past with GameCube. So I was like, gotta, gotta play that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm on that. Yeah. I love that. Um, and then, and then I got an Xbox, like my first yeah. Xbox ever. 2021 so love that you just kept upgrading yeah (laughs) so awesome i think it's so So cool when i find uh, other stars that are like genuinely into video games because twitch is such a great way for us to like dive into another avenue you guys are always telling us to shop showing our bodies here you go play some fucking video games (laughs) so there you go you got your request yeah is there an ideal dick size Oh, I know. We kind of touched good, on this, like, but like six, seven inches, seven okay. and a half. Is that average? Is I think that that's average. That's average. Right? I feel like that is yeah. average. They say it's not, but it is. I don't know. It is okay. <laughs> oh, OnlyFans girls versus porn stars, which. Um, now, actually, a lot of the OnlyFans girls are the porn stars. Yeah. So, who's winning? Girls who are, like, strictly, like, OnlyFans girls? Yeah. Or girls who are, like, considered porn stars, like yourself? I don't know. I think we're all winning. Right? We're all yeah. making easy money, dude. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's, it's great. great. And it's fun. Yeah. It's so, so fun. fun. <laughs> and you guys love jacking off to it. Yeah. So, it doesn't we really... I agree. Everyone. I feel like that doesn't matter. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, marriage. Is that off the table because of your career? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll yeah. find someone who loves me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's... I don't think a lot of people realize how many people in the industry are married, are married or in relationships all the time. Like we're, like, co- we're always fucking each other's spouses and yeah. stuff. Like, it's cool, dude. Like, yeah. People get married. Like, it's not a big deal. Exactly. For sure. See? So yeah. it's not out of the water. It might happen. Mm-mm. Would it, you consider marrying a civilian? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they can't handle it. I know they can't. They can't. <laughs> you know, I feel like there like might be freak. that one. Yeah. That one that's out there. Mm-hmm. You know, He's like a kind of a swinger. It. Yeah. Or he just like, what's it called? Like cucking? Where they like to watch their lady get fucked? Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> Like a cuck, where they cuck. Yeah, I would like that. A cuck. I, would, I think that'd be fun. Yeah. I feel like those are rare. If you're a cuck, call us. We got some questions. I want to yeah. try some shit out. Yeah. Callie, you have been so fun to have on. The fans have literally been asking for you for forever. Oh, so thanks. thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I am Adriana Maya. This is Callie Roses. This was Spliffs <laughs> and Giggles. Brought to you by the Red Eye District. Good night, guys.